absolutely the most important aspect of a long term relationship because i have made this mistake my friends have made this mistake that if you have a female friend if you have multiple female friends doesn't mean you have to date all of them lovers first sight is good for a short term dating but i personally believe if you fall for somebody's appearance you're going to get bored in the long run Hello and welcome to Love Handle where we get unfiltered about love and relationships. So today's topic is going to be an interesting one because we're asking some questions that a lot of people have in mind but nobody really talks about them. We're talking about how men approach love. So today we have with us my very dear friend Alan who is in a long-term committed relationship. Hi Alan, welcome to Love Hello. Handle. Thank you for having me. So Alan, you found love at a very young age and people have this perception that You know you need to focus on your career and you're still exploring yourself discovering what you like what you don't like and love kind of takes the back seat. So if you talk about you was it something that you were actively looking for or was it something that just, that just happened? For me personally I don't believe there's an age for love. I have always been starting to work since my high school and things happen just in the flow. And I was not actively looking for love in my college. Yeah. although i was looking for that in my high school and things didn't work out but it just came in the flow and i thought i should give it a shot and i was not actively pursuing for love or i wasn't looking for potential partners in any of my friends so i believe when i met the person i just knew ki i wanted to be with that person for the long term i want to spend the rest of my life with them and you know take the serious call for them in my future life were there some qualities that you were looking for like did you have some non negotiables uh, i felt it was unreasonable for me to have that kind of expectation out of a person but in terms of qualities that i would have appreciated in my partner for them to like me for who i am mm-hmm. and not for who i can be from 6 months or 1 year or 5 years from now but to love me for who i am right now mm-hmm. and also integrity in efforts that every effort that they put in not to expect from me also but for the long term commitment of the relationship and apart from that i was very much you know focused on to completing each other i didn't mind the fact that we were opposites but at the end of the day if we could complete each other and talk about anything and everything i would have really appreciated that in my partner and that these were the qualities that i was looking for i think that's really important because you need to love your partner not the idea of like the potential what they can be like Absolutely. you just need to love who they are yes. when you are with them so if we talk about the initial like courting period like how did you make that first impression like how did you impress her basically well we were both in the same college we were part of similar clubs so we used to meet each other here and there casually talk but nothing in depth nothing mm. like going for a date or anything as such but even though in those casual conversation i was very much determined on to finding what was her happiness factor where was she more happy what the things that she liked to do and i tried to reciprocate that and repeat that whenever i used to meet her yeah. and in terms of first impression i always ensure that i wore something that was more suited for myself because guys have this notion that you know you go to gym you work out you have to wear tight shirts and <laughs> tight pants and everything but yeah. it's not about that it's about having that confidence in what you wear Mm-hmm. and i always ensure that for my first impression i wore something that suited me which also elevated my confidence and i kept all conversation very raw and unfiltered mm-hmm. so we could talk about anything and everything we had similar judgments and opinions about college people future career and we also respected each other's opinion mm-hmm. so that was in a way of you know breaking that ice and making that other person aware that you know they can be open with me yeah so that was more of a qualitative impression setting mm-hmm. for me yeah So you're saying you became friends first and then you got into a relationship. How important do you feel that is like being friends with your partner? Absolutely the most important aspect of a long-term relationship because I have made this mistake, my friends have made this mistake that when we see somebody good looking or you know the love is first sight you fall for the beauty yeah uh, but more than that i always think that it is important to be friends first to know that person first and only then go for the next step mm-hmm. i mean it's okay if you have a female friend if you have multiple female friend doesn't mean you have to date all of them mm-hmm. and doesn't mean you need to have a future with all of them but once you find that person you can resonate with and have that you know internal connect with that's when you should take things to the next stage mm-hmm. uh that's very interesting that you said love at first sight Is that something that you believe in? No. No, that I do not believe that for a long-term relationship. I believe that you should fall for the person's character and personality. Mm-hmm. I mean, love at first sight is good for a short-term dating, but I personally believe if you fall for somebody's appearance, you're going to get bored in the long run. So since you mentioned you guys are pretty opposite, so how are the ways that you complement each other and 
are there a few things that are similar like do you have any similar interests or is it okay not having those I believe it is important to have similar interests to an extent but I also think it is okay to be opposites. For mm-hmm. example in my case uh my partner is somebody who is you know little simple who likes who's not much into science and geography and things as such and I'm somebody who is fan of Christopher Nolan's movie Interstellar and at times I cannot have similar conversation with her because she's not on the same wavelength. Yeah. But I feel that she puts that effort to understand uh where I'm coming from and to basically you know complete each other in terms of putting that effort in. And for me I am not somebody who enjoys going to cafes for dates or you know going for board games or pottery but that is something that she likes mm. so I also compliment her in those kind of minute efforts mm. so I believe you know the concept of yin yang right like you completing each other you doing things even though you don't want to do but for the other person's happiness that kind of compromise is very important for a long term relationship So you talked about having different interests like she likes one thing but you like something else but if we talk about values or like goals in life how you view the world do you feel you have some similarity there so we have similarities in terms of keeping boundaries and balance in life mm-hmm. that is boundaries of friends family we do respect our family's opinion and their decisions mm-hmm. but to an extent as long as it makes logic mm-hmm. and also in terms of spending time with friends or anything as such we always ensure that we also give time for each other and we keep that balance in life So you know uh maybe a weekend plan but then we have not spent time with each other for a couple of months then we would prioritize ourselves mm. in terms of our friends in terms of you know respecting each other's boundaries and balance that's very important for a relationship maybe sometimes you know while dealing with conflicts one person wouldn't want to deal it right away but would want to take some time sink in has what has to happen mm. and you know get that context and then come back to you with valuable opinions and in that way we both respect each other's opinion and space so i think that's also very important Yeah. in the long run. Wow, you have so much to say and it just all makes sense. I'm pretty sure our audience can learn so much from you. So do you have some tips that you feel like guys are doing like they can do something better mm. in the courting phase or while approaching a woman? So do you have some advice or tips for them? Yeah, I mean, uh based on the mistakes that myself and my friends have made in the past it's not making the first move you see somebody good looking you want to go and talk but then you're hesitant mm. you look at them you make it awkward you ignore them when they look at you and you don't make the first move and before you know it the matcher is going to come and talk to her mm. right so it's always better that you make the first move i mean what's yeah. the worst that could happen she could say a no but still confidence is very attractive for women right so you can just go to her give your name tell her she looks pretty would you want to hang out and just see how it goes from there Also in terms of you know a long term relationship it's very important that we as guys or you know girls do not give their best version to the other partner during the initial mm-hmm. phases because let's say women and men they do expect a lot of things right so when you're showing your best version to the other person they would expect that in the long run mm-hmm. so if you cannot come into that best version for the long run it's probably for the best to not show that out during the initial phases of life mm-hmm. and i believe it's very important that you do not change your priorities for somebody you meet very lately because let's just say how logic works right you meet somebody new you change your priorities now you meet somebody else you're going to change their priorities for them mm. so you have a routine of going out walking out or reading a book or going to a cafe meeting with your friends i believe you should not change that for somebody you have met instead accommodate that person's interests and priorities also in your daily routine So you're saying guys need to be more confident in making the first move. Yes. It's it's okay because the worst she can say is no. Yes. And also don't change yourself a lot like show your authentic self. Don't try to be something else, some, yes. something better just to like show them. And I think the third one is whatever you're doing like having a daily routine don't change that for somebody. Yeah, don't basically change your principles and priorities for yeah. somebody you met recently. like if it's for being a better version of yourself then absolutely yes mm-hmm. but then if it's just for the point of impressing that person yeah. and getting what you want out of them i would never recommend that so what's your favorite part about your girlfriend like one thing that you just adore about her it would be mainly the emotional stability that i get mm-hmm. from her the emotional support let's say i'm having a bad day i have somebody to turn out to and talk about it and even though she might not give me ideal solution at least there's somebody to hear about it mm-hmm. and i have this confidence to confide in her that it will not go to a second person so that kind of respect to privacy is what mm-hmm. i really much appreciate in my girlfriend and this relationship and at the end of the day it's a long term vision and you're having a partner in crime for that 
so that is very exciting for me so yeah uh thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something today like and share the video and subscribe to virora for more such content if you're single if you're committed in a complicated relationship or none of the above we've got something for everybody virona matchmaking reimagined